Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, I'm going to walk you through the easiest way possible to back up your Raspberry Pi. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Okay, so before we jump into this real quick, when should you back up your Raspberry Pi? Let's talk about that for a quick second. Uh, first of all, before I do any upgrades, major upgrades to my Raspberry Pi, I'm going to make a backup of my micro SD card. Uh, another occasion that's going to prompt me to make a backup is maybe I'm trying to install something new with the Raspberry Pi. I don't want to take a chance on something going wrong, me messing something up on the system, and not having a good place to fall back to. So I always like to make a backup right before I try to uh, do something new with the Raspberry Pi. Finally, I try to back up my Pi roughly every 30 days. Uh, even if you do it every three months, you know, maybe you're not using your Pi that much, uh, every three months might be good for you. But those are kind of the three instances that prompt me to go ahead and make a backup of my Raspberry Pi and always just kind of keep those tucked away in my radio bags so that should something happen to my primary card, I've always got a backup to fall back on. Now, let me get off the screen and I'll show you guys the easiest way to get this done. Okay, so on the Raspberry Pi, let's come up to our main Pi menu and let's come down to accessories. From accessories, we're going to come down and choose the SD card copier. Once that opens up, we're going to choose our copy from device. So this is the micro SD card that's already in the Raspberry Pi. Now on this particular Pi, I am running on an SSD card. So I'm going to show you two different things here, uh, depending on if you're running a micro SD or if you're running an SSD. Uh, you would click your drop down button here and you'll see that I've got my micro S or I'm sorry, my SSD card here I just choose it, and then in the other one is the device that I want to copy to. I'll go ahead and click it, and I've got my SD card reader. Now, let's jump over to another Raspberry Pi for a quick second. In this case, I have a micro SD card that I'm running as my primary hard drive on the Raspberry Pi. In this case, you'll see something similar to this where it says forward slash dev forward slash MMC BLK zero. So I would choose it as my copy from device. And then I would go ahead and choose that uh, USB thumb drive as my copy to device. Once you've got those plugged into the appropriate boxes, just click start. It's going to warn you that it is going to be erasing all of the contents on the SD card that you're copying to. Are you sure you want to do this? I'm going to go ahead and click yes, and it will start backing up my SSD card. So depending on the size of your micro SD card or your SSD, this process takes anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes. But once it's complete, you will receive a message that lets you know it has completed. After it's done, you can click OK and then go ahead and close out of this and eject your card from the USB port on the Raspberry Pi. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.